Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly, and this is the third time I've turned my camera on and it turned off. I think I probably have to erase uh, some more stuff, but um, I am just sitting here. I'm going to do like a uh, sugar skull kind of thing. I usually do these every year for like around the Halloween, and um, this is just another thing that I like to sit and do um, just for fun, not, you know, not for anything in particular. Um, it's just a regular piece of mixed media paper and I already kind of sketched out with paper, the skull. Um, and this is just, I got paint down here. Uh, if you didn't already, this is the painting. I got a lot of good emails and, and comments, but, um, I love doing these every year. It's just with ink and a little bit of white paint. Um, but it's with my, uh, aqua ink from, Aqua Ink Graphics Marabou. I love these. I only have two colors and I love these. Um, and I used my uh, Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay inks and I used those in, in what? Black and white and I think orange. Yeah. And so I will link the video to this down below or at the end, if you are interested, it's just on watercolor paper. I just have a blast doing these. Um, and yeah, so that's what I did with that. That's kind of something I do. Um, it's a video that it's, it's to music, but I put it up, um, because it's just something I sit here and do and, and, you know, not necessarily on video sometimes. So I just sat and did that yesterday because my mind is crazy. And, um, yeah, so that's that. So I'm going to have, I'll do a video on, you guys are asking about keto and which I'm still doing, but I'm going to, not going to lie. It's been a little rough. I'm still doing the fasting and eating once a day. Um, but my weight loss is like maybe a, a, a week, a month, ugh, every month, a couple pounds. Um, it's not been that fantastical, like when I first started and we really have to get back on strict, strict right now. We're kind of doing lazy keto. So anyway, I'll do a video. Life has been crazy. So I just drew this kind of thing. Kind of looks like Frankenstein, not really caring. I am just wanting to, um, play and, um, yeah, I'll have to do an update video because I have, uh, things that are going on my Patreon, um, that if you uh, you know, donate. And if you're interested in donating at the end of the video will be a button to click or down below. Um, and Patreon is just supporting artists of any kind. Uh, there's millions of them on Patreon, you know, a couple bucks a month to help people out. Um, and I think I am going to start this month, um, November 1st, uh, how you say putting the names and stuff of people who support me. I'm very thankful. Um, and anyway, so yeah, so I have a lot of stuff going on. Yes, I do. But today we're going to do this. So I can't decide. Now you can draw a regular like picture of somebody, which I think that might be what I'm going to do. I'm not digging that skull kind of thing. I don't know. I'm just not in the mood for that today. So I'm going to go back in. And if you just clicked on me, <laughs> lucky you, <laughs> you get my babbling which, you know, that is that. I realize a lot of people, um, like I've told you, a lot of people are finding my channel and a lot of people don't um, exactly know what I am or what I do or what my gig is. So I'm going to have to do an updated like video, like, hey, welcome to my channel kind of thing that you can click on a trailer. Um, so yeah, I'll have to do that one of these one of these days. And I'm just going down, you know, I'm not going to worry too much about how even this is because I don't know why it's one of those days. I'm going to break into uh, Fred Durst in a minute. Not Fred Durst. Is it Fred Durst? Durst. Why does that sound familiar? I know that's the guy who threw his wife down the steps. Robert Durst. Fred Durst is the singer, you know, that song, if you guys are my age, how's it go? I'm like a chainsaw. I'll skin your bra. Oh God. Okay. Break stuff. Break stuff. That's the song. Oh my God. Kelly. All right. And I'm going to go like this. I, I Rambling, rambling. If you don't like rambling, <laughs> 
then step away. All right. But anyway, you know, I got a lot going on. I can't complain. I mean, I didn't win that big lottery, which I was hoping for. And then I spent a couple bucks on, you know, the couple bucks where you're like, well, I can buy something on clearance or with a coupon or I could buy a lottery ticket. But if you don't play, you don't win. That's what I told my husband. If you don't play, you don't win. I think all the medicines just got me a little crazy. <laughs> Which is, it seems like I'm always on here when I'm taking the medicine. I try not to be. But I've been working on my Etsy stuff and just all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, trying to get my life together, which I think it's been like, how many years now I say that every time, just trying to get my life together. It's not working. Just letting you know. Let me just do. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I'm trying to think what else, what do we have going on? Well, I saw the finale of Mr. Mercedes. Am I the only one watching that? I'd like to know what y'all thought without, I guess, I, how do we talk about it if I don't want it to be um, spoiled in the comments, like kind of thing, you know? But anyway, uh, let me know if you watch Mr. Mercedes and just what you thought of the finale, because not going to lie. Dave, Emily, and I sat there and we're watching it. Da, 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 and then all of a sudden, all of us were like, ah! yeah. Yep. -ers. So, um, let's see. So let me know. Let me know. Doing those like that. And then we'll do, let's do a, do a long hair. I'm going to give a shout out to Kathy, my that's what she said friends. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better. I hope your uh, shot that you got yesterday helped. I get them in my knees and shoulders and stuff. So um, I'm really hoping, Kelly, what are you doing? I'm really hoping that you're finding a little bit of release and relief of that pain because, oh, girl, I know. Girl, I know. So I just wanted to give her a shout out because she has been struggling and I just wish, I wish I could help everybody who struggles. Not that I help anybody who struggles, but like, I know the struggle and uh, believe me and it's not fun. And so I just wanted to give her a quick, let her know I'm thinking of her because I, uh, I don't like, I don't like when people, I really don't. And I don't know if it's cause I know the struggle of the chronic illnesses and all, or, I mean, cause like, if you follow me, you guys, or, or have been for a while, you guys know that I, my brain is gone <laughs> between it's been 20 some years and my, between all the illnesses and the medications, it's just like, ugh, you know, and then you still want to watch me, which is amazing. I don't know why. And YouTube was crazy lately with not getting views like we used to and everything else. I just don't understand it. Sometimes my views are through the roof. Other times they're like struggling. So I didn't know. And I really don't, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I don't know what they're doing. Algorithm crap. And it's like the fourth time. You know, so I don't, I don't worry about it too much anymore. I just do what I'm going to do. And if people watch great, if not, then hey, it just drives me nuts. And then I go on, um, which I don't know if any of you guys are going through this, but if you go like, I'll go on to my, what's it called? Uh, analytics and that kind of stuff. And one day it'll say one thing. And then all of a sudden the next day it's completely different. So I, I don't know what the heck's going on. So I just do my videos when I am able to, and hope that, you know, you like them. That's why I'm telling you guys like to, it, it's almost like, I don't mean to do that. It's almost like, um, YouTube's making 
people like click the notification button and so you get notified because if you don't you're not seeing it there are people i'm subscribed to that i don't see their videos and then one day i'm like wait a minute are they okay are they not putting up videos and then i go and i'm like they've been putting up a video twice a week and i missed it so you know um it just is frustrating it's very frustrating i don't know why everything has to be and i'm exaggerating her obviously i, I just don't know why everything it's so hard on YouTube. It used to be when I first started so wonderful. I mean, you know, you subscribe to somebody, you got their content. It's the same with uh, Instagram. Jeez, oh, Pete's. I uh, hardly see a lot of the people on Instagram that I that I follow. They're a algorithm and all. I, I don't I don't get it. I just don't get it. But anyway try to remember to push the button and see if um that helps things and if you get notified i've been putting them up a few times a week videos you're lucky because i could sit here every day and do it but <laughs> i don't think you want to watch me go around my art room and clean because that's what i've been doing let's see so now i want to draw around her eyes and i kind of want to do Mm -hmm. Better if I just do like that. But I've been struggling with the, the RA and fibro. It's like all of a sudden it was like, boom, okay, we're both here and we're going to make you pay. I don't want to pay for what? I'm not sleeping. And you guys know about, you know, what it's like to not sleep. I know a lot of you go through that. and Just been crazy. I got to count these. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight. I'll never get eight here. Probably I'll screw it all up. <laughs> One, two, three. I'm trying to think what else we've been watching. We watched Absentia on, on, uh, what's it on Amazon. That was good. And then we watched, what, what else did we watch? I told you guys about Bosch. That was really good on Amazon. And then, um, what else have we watched? Dave and I started Wonderlust. That is on, um, Netflix. He's not that into that. So, I don't know. I'll probably end up watching it myself. It's all right. It's not a horror movie, which I love, which I love. And I know people are asking me, I have not seen the new Halloween at the movie theater. I don't enjoy going to movies that much because I am, um, anxiety ridden. I, ugh, I know it's, it's a shame. I shouldn't even, um, Maybe I'll just draw her today. I won't paint her. But, uh, yeah, I hate leaving. And the only place I really go to, I go to my doctor's appointment, which is a struggle. Um, I hate it and I'll cancel if I, if I can, if he'll, if Dave will let me, but usually he does not let me. Um, and my sisters once a week we go, we used to go Fridays and then we go Saturday. Um, we'll go to dinner, like a family dinner down there. My parents and my sister and my nephew and brother-in-law and us and Emily when she's off. Um, and that's really like, I, that's it. I've been struggling really hard with, um, my anxiety lately and, and, and panic and migraines. I, I don't know. I don't know what the heck's going on. I've just been getting some, and I'm cry I have chronic migraines, you know, but sometimes and I'm not complaining. Listen, I know it sounds like, and people are gonna be like, Oh, poor you. And I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. First world world problems right here. My nails are too long. These are all mine. As you can tell there, um, all mine. And we do the, um, gel nails, my daughter and I, um, and I've been doing them. You guys know for a long time, cause you know, for a long time I bit my nails crazy. And then all of a sudden, they changed a vitamin or something I've been taking and my nails are crazy and they're strong, but they're getting in my way. I was doing something 
was it yesterday? And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know if it was painting or clay or whatever. And I was like, oh, like I got to cut them down. So this one broke and it's still like, you know, um, so I think I'm going to cut them down pretty much this length. And then this one can grow out because that one got caught and ripped in the heart. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm going to cut them. You know, I guess the next video or so you'll see they're cut and changed in the colors. So, um, yeah, so I will be doing that. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? But. Three, four, five, six. Um, one. Yeah. So, yeah, so I have that going on. And like I said, we're still doing keto. Dave's, I don't know, he's up in the 30s losing. But we, like I said, it's been, I can't help it. It's like, I don't smoke anymore. I don't drink anymore. I don't do anything anymore. Um, and it's hard. It's hard to uh, deal with life sometimes. And, you know, it's kind of, I eat, we eat here. <laughs> so, and it doesn't help. Emily will get like, she'll get a little crazy and like have a rough stressful day and this, that, the other. And then, you know, she'll eat and then like, it'll be here and then I'll eat. Do you know what I mean? And that is part of the, part of the problem is that, you know, <laughs> if it's here, I'll eat it. So I don't know. I guess there could be worse things in life, but it gets, it gets hard. So, like I said, still doing it, still doing a lot of the keto. It's just, we're doing kind of, it's called lazy keto. People call it where it's like, I'm still doing keto, but, um, it's not as strict as it, I, we were doing it and we do have to get back to doing it strict again because I've kept the weight off that I've lost, but I've only lost not only cause it's major, but I've only lost 24 pounds, which is good, which is good. And you know, but I'm like at my standstill now, but I do enjoy the fasting, um, and that kind of thing. And it has helped my diabetes crazily. However, eating the crap now I can really feel in my body, like my diabetes and stuff like that. It's like, you know, girl, come on. <laughs> it's a little crazy. I moved that over too far. I'm talking too much and I can't concentrate, which, oh, well. But yeah, so, you know, it's one of those things. And I know, I mean, I do know that it's not good for me. I don't like this, but, you know, it is what it is. It's who I am. So I'm going to get back on that bandwagon. And then all of a sudden here, we lost fall and just got winter. <laughs> it's gold here. So, you know, what are you going to do about that? Nothing. All right, so I'll start in the middle. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. There you go. Yeah, so, but Emily's doing good. She's working um, at Alicia D. Michael. Um, who apparently I have no idea. I've not met the lady. I don't know anything about her other than she was a reality star on mob wives on VH1 or some, some stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so, and Emily didn't know she had no clue. I'm sure I probably told the story, but she had no clue. She just went down for a job interview and then it ended up being her. We didn't know who she was or anything like that, but apparently she's, she's a very, uh, nice woman uh good mother emily says so i've not met her but emily loves it loves her um the store manager and they sell not only uh in store but they sell online so if you are interested i will link it down below and go check them out and go check what they have they have a clearance section emily said they have a lot of clearance but this is the happiest i've seen my daughter in years 
and she's, you know, busy and it's exhausting, but she's doing it. And it does go to show, uh, you know, if you do enjoy something, uh, it will, you know, it's like us doing our art or whatever, you know, if you enjoy it, you do it no matter what it takes. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm real happy for her and I'm glad that she, you know, that she loves it so much. So, you know, I can't complain. So she's doing that. My nephew's just as delicious as ever. He's in kindergarten and he is a handful. <laughs> Not in a bad way. He's just at that age. You know, I keep telling my sister, did I do six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. We'll just do five down here. Um, but he's delicious. He's going to be six in March, May, March, March. Oh, April, April. Oh, I'm so confused in life right now. My sister would kill me. Um, yeah. So that's what a good aunt I am. No, no I love that boy. I, it makes, he makes me get out the house and go down there and, uh, see him every week when I'm not, you know, when I'm okay enough to, and I just, uh, we just love him and he just loves his uncle Dave, which is kind of annoying, but yeah, he really, he really loves Dave. So I mean, he loves me too. And he loves Emily, but uncle Dave plays and uncle Dave, you know, sits down and plays action figures and toys and all that kind of stuff. And Dave, my husband's like six, two, I guess. So he picks them. He's tall. So he picks up my nephew and my nephew could touch the ceiling and he thinks that's the greatest thing. And you know, all that fun stuff. <laughs> so You know, so I'm ha like I said, it, it's, it was really strong. I was struggling at first, uh, after losing my son, um, I need a permanent marker and I cannot find any of my permanent markers. What happened to them? Especially black. I mean, I have permanent markers, but not black, I should say. But after my son passed, I just had a really hard time with life. Um, let's see if this works. This is brown, but you know, and seeing my nephew and all that kind of stuff. But now it's, I'm kind of over it, not over it, but like, I can't, it doesn't do anything. Does it? Nope. Not really. It's very light. So yeah, but he's quite, he's, he's a joy. He's so much fun. And I'm sure you guys know those of you who have little kids, I, I, little kids in general. I mean, I haven't had a child a little one in years. My little one is going to be 23. Like what? 23. I like, I can't believe it. Let's see if this has any ink. Yeah. It doesn't matter what color this is. So yeah. So Emily is going to be 23. My oldest, my son would have been Jesus Pete's in May. He would have been 27, 27, 28. Cause Dave and I just had our 20. I'm lost in my life. Anyway, he would have been 27 or 28. I think 28. I don't know. One of those two born in 91, 27. So yeah, I'm horrible with dates. I'm horrible with names. I'm horrible with remembering things. I'm horrible with people, you know, people's names. Oh geez. When I run into people and I'm like, Oh God, I can't remember their name. you know, <laughs> but I tell you what, I got a lot of good keto recipes and I've got a lot of good shortcuts and like for poor people like me, because keto can tend to be a bit expensive. I'm not going to lie. Um, and a lot of you have wrote me and asked like, you know, but so, yeah, so I do have a lot of good uh, recipes that I'm going to be doing. I know I always say that. I just got to get through this little bit of rough patch. And, you know, December is the uh, unfortunate anniversary of losing my son, December 10th. So it starts now with the holidays coming. I start getting, you know, like, I don't take Valium or Xanax anymore. I, I stopped that because of my kidneys. But um, ugh, you guys know, it gets a little crazy for me. But I tell you what, you guys are the best. You guys leave me the best comments and messages. So I'm going to be rewarding comments and whatnot. Like I said in my other video. 
because I, I love it. I think it's important for people like, you know, if you leave, take the time to leave a comment, you know, I know that you took time out of your day, not only to watch me, but, or watch my videos, but to, you know, say, Hey, thanks. And I need to do that more too. I watch a lot of uh, people, you know what I mean? Um, people who do arts and crafts and, and that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, I need to leave more comments. I try to watch a lot of videos and, and people, and I will leave comments, you know, once in a while, but I really need to, to do what I, how you say, practice what I preach. You know what I'm saying? So I figured, you know what? I got so much stuff that I can, uh, give out for you know, little, little teeny like prizes, you know, little like thank yous, that kind of thing. So that's it. I talked through this. I'm not going to necessarily, um, paint this right now, but what I do is I, I do this with most of my paintings and all that kind of stuff too, is I do this and then I'll take my eraser, which I'm loving this Derwent eraser. And I love, love, love my Chrismacolor eraser. So, um, and then I have this one which I got from Artbox, I believe. And I don't know, does it say the brand? K-U-M, the cum. That's right, this is the cum one. <laughs> and then I got the kneaded one. Um, and I just, depends on the paper and what I use. And I will just go in and erase all my lines. And then I can go and start painting or color pencil or whatever I want to do, whatever colors. Like I said, I do these every year on, in a video. I don't, I'll have to link or something. See if I can find any of them <laughs> and link it at the end. But you see it just erases. And then, um, so anything with the gummy erasers is that like having problems with your hands, it is, it tends to get hard because to erase because <laughs> that's what she said, tends to get hard. And, um, like when you're erasing, you know what I mean? Like it can like get thinner and it's hard to hold for me, but I enjoy the eraser. You don't get all that stuff. Um, I do have a couple erasers that I absolutely love. So then I just will use one of these and like I said, I love them. but I'm all caught up. I don't like to do, I don't like to do, um, giveaways or any of that kind of thing until I'm caught up with everything. So I've mailed out everything, all my, uh, sales from Etsy, all my, uh, random mags of like everything I'm caught up finally. So now I can do another thing. Um, and that's why I decided like for comments and the other, the comments I'm going to start with are the one on the video two days ago, I believe, and, uh, go from there. Like I said, it might be a piece of art, might be a stencil. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but yeah. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. My cats are going nuts now running out there. Um, Emily's at her boyfriend's now. He, she left this morning and they're, you know, our blackies, we call them the blackies because they're both black. And that's what my husband named them when we got, got them to differentiate from the other cats, but it's Onyx and Nero. And, um, they're delicious, delicious. I really got to take a video of my animals again. You guys ask all the time and I really do have to, um, cause they're just, I love them. So, but they're running wild. I don't know if you can hear them. I don't know if you heard that or not. Anyway, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Please share my videos around. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Um, just to get me out there a little bit more. And share everybody, everybody that you watch, just hit that little share button and share it to your Twitter or Pinterest or whatever. All my information for all my social media is down below. And if you just found me and you would like to be subscribed, click the subscribe button down below and that little notification bell. All of you, all of you watching this, um, click that notification bell so you can get notified when I upload or whomever bell you ring. Ring my bell, baby. Um, and everybody that you watch so that you get notified. Cause I'm not the only one who's not, uh, you know, who gets ups and downs. So do that for everybody. And remember progress, not perfection, just playing, sitting around. Um, I'll have another video probably up later on today, which is, a, a mixed media, I believe with pen pastels and 
what else was in there? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, you'll say it. And yeah, so I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.